Okay, here we have the Apple Extreme router um, on the right here. Uh, beneath the router, that's the router there, beneath the router I've got a little Belkin USB hub. That hub is actually for the Mac Mini, but as you can see it fits under the uh, the Airport Extreme Perfect. Um, it's got two USB ports in the back and two USB ports at the front. At the moment I've got two 640 gig hard drives here. These are USB powered hard drives uh, connected into the back which leaves my front two ports free for anything else I wish to add, such as USB pen drives and, and so on. Now I've got this drive here, um, which is a 4 terabyte uh, Western Digital MyBook Studio Edition. Um, a point to note when using hard drives with the Airport Extreme is these hard drives tend to work best. So the smaller USB powered hard drives work best because when they put themselves in, in sleep mode, uh, when they come out of sleep mode very quickly so you can get access to your data straight away so you, you hardly notice any lag at all whereas this one here um, putting that onto the airport extreme works perfectly fine but when that goes into sleep mode it takes a lot longer so you could be sitting there for several minutes waiting for it to come out of sleep so you can actually use the disk um, so that's a point to note so if you're really looking to use disks across your wireless network I'd recommend the smaller the smaller ones here unless you really need the extra capacity. Uh, I tend to just use the bigger disk you know, through the Firewire connection with a, uh, a local connection to my MacBook uh, whenever I want to back up to it. So um, that's a quick note about the, the hard drives connecting the hard drives to the uh, AirPort Extreme. Let's take a look at uh, how it looks on the actual system. Okay, so as we've seen on the actual AirPort Extreme router, you simply plug in your hard drive or any USB drive. You then go into Finder. You'll see your AirPort Extreme router listed here. This will not norm normally be here if you haven't got a, a drive or something connected to the router. Um, so this will be listed here. Click on it and there's your hard drive. So any other drives you've connected in any other USB ports if you're using a hub like I do will be listed here and you access it as per normal. Um, so there's absolutely no setup, nothing to do whatsoever. You just simply connect the drive and it shows up ready to use on the wireless. Very nice, easy to use. Hopefully that has helped you if you're thinking of buying the AirPort Extreme router. Can't recommend it enough, does everything you need it to do. Um, and sharing of hard drives over the wireless network is uh, very nice and easy to do, 